body repair panels come from the manufacturer with a protective coating. Uh, sometimes it's electrostatically applied, so they call it E-coat. You can see it on these pieces right here. The black part is the black E-coat. And the reason why they do that is to protect the panel during shipping from corroding. But also, once these are installed in the car, they provide a nice corrosion barrier so that the car doesn't rust. But the challenge is that a lot of these panels are welded together with a spot weld technique where two electrodes come together and do an electrical resistance weld. You're supposed to strip the E-coat from the two mating areas, put them together, and then apply your spot welder because the E-coat will actually act as an electrical insulator and reduce the amount of current and possibly compromise the weld. The downside about stripping this off on the inside is that you lose any of your corrosion protection between the panels. And that's where rust starts to happen anyway, is down inside there. One way to prevent this is possibly to spray a weld through primer on here and then clamp it and weld it. But even then, the weld through primers don't offer the same corrosion resistance and it's also an extra step. It's for this reason that Dentfix came up with their shunting pliers. And these are a pair of specialty pliers. They lock, uh, but they have a set of high conductivity copper jaws on one end. And you'll notice they're connected together with a highly conductive four gauge copper wire. With the shunting pliers, you no longer need to strip the mating areas between the panels. So you can leave the E-coat in place and then put your panels together, but you strip out an extra section on the outside. And the outside is okay to strip because in the bodywork process, this always gets painted anyway. But when you apply the pliers, they provide an additional current path between the two panels so that when you use your spot welder on the uh, other clean area, it will weld right through that E-coat between these two panels. So we're going to do a little demonstration to show what it's like with the pliers and without. For the first demo, we're going to weld this the traditional way with the E-coat stripped off between the two panels. And once we weld them together, we'll get a look at the size of the welds. For the second demo, we're going to clamp the parts together with the shunting pliers without removing the E-coat between them, and we're going to compare the size of the welds when finished. So you can see that with the shunting pliers, the size of the weld is actually a little bit bigger than it was without the shunting pliers. And the shunting pliers, we did not strip that E-coat between them. So that corrosion resistance is still in place, and the only affected area between these two panels is just the size of that weld. You can learn more about these pliers at dentfix.com.